In this Accu tutorial for AccuZip 6, we'll be discussing um, optimizing your data. This is um, there's a feature inside of AccuZip that will take your data and it will clean it up. It'll pre-cleanse it prior to cast and pre-sort, and it will optimize it for speed and performance. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is open AccuZip, and in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, OpenList for the first time to open up a, a brand new file. I'm going to select the input file, and the file I'm going to be working with is um, named File. Go ahead and click OK. This is a comma separated file. I'm going to go ahead and click Use Header. Now, you can, you can check Optimize here, and when you click Import, it will bring up the Optimize database window. But for right now, I'm going to uncheck this box. I'm going to bring the data in so you can see it prior to being optimized. Okay, as you can see, this particular file has a header record, it has a few blank records, and it has a Canadian record. So before I uh, um, validate the records by pulling down special to validate records to cast process the file to add zip plus fours. I always recommend optimizing the database, always. As you can see, the file is not even in a zip code sequence at this point. The software caches as much as it can into memory during the cache process. So if everything is ordered by zip code or street, it's going to process faster because all the buffering. So the first thing I want to do is choose Special Optimize Database. Again, by checking the box in the previous window, it would bring this window up after the file has been imported automatically. When the optimized database window appears, by default, these boxes will be checked. Let me explain each one of these. Delete blank records will delete any record in your database. It will flag it for deletion if it is 100% blank. So for example, if I were to uncheck these boxes and only leave delete blank records and I clicked optimize, as you can see, these two records right here got flagged for deletion. So in other words, when a record is flagged for deletion, it will be ignored. So it won't be cast, uh, processed through the CAS certification and it won't be pre-sorted or printed. They'll still remain in your database though unless you check Pack Database. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window. As you can see, these two records were flagged for deletion. I'm going to go ahead and choose Special Optimize Database again. And I'm going to show you the effect of checking foreign records. So when you check Delete Foreign Records, what it will do is it will delete only records that contain alphanumeric zip code information. So if I went ahead and clicked Optimize again, as you can see, it deleted the first record, which contained non-zip code information, which looked foreign, and the foreign record from Canada. Now the records are still in our database. Again, they won't be pre-sorted or CAS certified. If I close this window, you can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to choose Special Optimize again. You can check all of the applicable boxes. Of course, all of them will be done in one step. But what I wanted to do was walk you through each one of these so you, you can see the effect on your database. The next option is Pack Database. If you have Pack Database checked, AccuZip will automatically remove these records from your database permanently. They won't, they'll no longer be there and you cannot recover them. So be careful, but go ahead and check uh, pack database and let me show you the effect of that. We'll click optimize. Notice that the records no longer appear. So now we have a, a really clean list that contains no blank records and no foreign records. I'm going to choose special optimize again. And this time I'm going to check resize field widths. What this will do, let's say you bring in your data and you have um, under Edit, I'm going to choose Fields. 
So these are currently the fields inside of the software. Let's say some of your fields were longer than normal. Let's say we set this all at 100 characters, okay? We're going to set these at 100, 100. I'm going to set the state at 100. And the zip at 100. Okay, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Yes to save our structure changes. So now, if I go back to Edit Fields, just to show you, all these fields are 100 bytes. And this means that the file is going to be that much larger. The actual database is going to be considerably larger because each record, if I choose Edit Fields, go to Table, each record length is 583 characters. So you multiply that, multiply that by 44,000 records, the file could get really, really large. So optimizing the database, I'll pull down Special to Optimize Database. When I click check the Resize Field box, it will automatically make the fields only as long as they need to be. So if you had a field that we didn't understand, let's say a Social Security number, uh, we'll bring it in, but we'll default to a, a really long length, like 100 bytes. 100 characters, it will reduce the field width only as wide as the longest piece of data in that field. Other than that, it'll resize the fields to what we default to. For example, for the zip code, it'll make it 10 by default. So if we click um, Optimize, I'm going to go ahead and have it auto-close this window when it's finished. Now we choose Edit Fields, and as you can see, all of the fields now went down to their default field size or their shortest uh, the shortest piece of uh, the longest piece of information in the actual field so for example if I made this zip field 5 let's say naturally the zip code needs to hold the zip plus 4 see I can't type anything more into that field I'll choose special optimized database I'll go ahead and click optimize again and as you can see the optimization made the field the proper length Let's go back to Special Optimized Database and we'll show you this one. This is Order Database for Optimum Performance. So what this will do is notice that the records right now are out of zip code sequence, right? So if we check Order Database for Optimum Se uh, Performance, um, it will take the list, order it, so now they're all in zip code sequence ready to cast certify. So you can see all the streets are together. Now when you validate your records, the process will speed up considerably because the buffering will stay in the same zip code or same city as it goes through your database as opposed to seeking the data on your hard drive all over the nation. The last optimized database feature is to rebuild the index. Now by default, our software index is based on the record number. So when you search for data, it's extremely fast. If you were to build other indexes, for example, under sort, if you said sort by last, sort by company, sort by address, you know, something like this, see where it reorders it, the software would automatically rebuild all of those indexes. As you can see, we have two now. So we'll click Optimize. So all those indexes got rebuilt after the new database was created. Highly recommend optimizing every single file you bring in at AccuZip. And thank you for watching this Accutorial.